Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Vivek Venkatramani, consultant uro-oncologist and robotic surgeon in Mumbai. Urologic cancers deal with cancers of the male reproductive system and as such they do have an impact on a man's fertility both as a result of the cancer itself as well as some of the treatments that are associated with it. This most commonly holds true for testicular cancer because this affects young men between the ages of 20 to 40 which are definitely the peak years for fatherhood. Testicular cancer itself may be associated with pre-existing infertility because in those cases the testes are already damaged or have some disease and that's why they are more prone to develop cancers as well. The testicle which is affected with cancer is often non-functional in terms of producing sperms already and therefore the man's reproductive ability depends on the normal opposite testicle. An important step in testicular cancer treatment is the removal of the affected testis which is called an orchidectomy. Following this it's usually quite normal for the opposite testis to be adequate for adequate semen and sperm production. However, if further treatments like radiation or chemotherapy are needed in that patient then that may depress the normal testicles functioning as well. It has been shown that radiation also affects the quality of sperms being produced as well as the quantity. This is true for up to one or two years after radiation has been given. Chemotherapy too damages all dividing cells in the body and the cells which produce sperms are among the most actively dividing cells in the body and therefore their function is suppressed for almost three to five years after chemotherapy in these group of patients. So at each and every step in testicular cancer, there could be a potential hit on the man's fertility and the ability to father children. This is why it is almost a routine practice to counsel all these young men about this potential impact and to advise them semen cryopreservation or sperm banking which preserves their normal sperms before any treatment is started and it can be stored for years together and allows them to use that, those samples in case the semen production and sperm production does not return to adequate levels once treatment is completed. This provides a really valuable safety mechanism for these men and they would be able to undergo and complete normal fatherhood even using the stored sperm samples. We have seen many cases of young men treated for testicular cancer who have gone on to be fathers three or four years after their treatment is completed and this is quite a regular occurrence. So the psychological belief or the myth that patients feel that their fertility is completely gone is totally wrong and I would like to reassure them that it's very much possible to recover semen and sperm production after treatment or use the bank samples in order to produce children. With regards to other urologic cancers like prostate and urinary bladder, these generally affect men above the age of 50 years and therefore fatherhood and fertility are generally not a major concern. However, because the testicles are not affected in these cases, in case any of these men does wish to father children, it is very much possible with a simple sperm extraction from the man's testicles. So as we can see, urologic cancers can have a significant impact on a man's fertility and this is especially true for testicular cancer. However, all is certainly not lost and there are many techniques that allow us to preserve the sperm for years together as well as there is a natural tendency for the sperm production to recover once the treatment is completed and therefore there is no real reason to lose hope and men should be open to discuss all these problems with their doctor before any treatment is started in order to gain clarity and confidence to go ahead with the treatment. If you found this video useful please like and share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.